Ladies and gentlemen, Rex Bear Elite Project. How the heck are you? What you are looking at is a picture that I took in Pitcher Canyon. This is in the middle of nowhere, and I think that there's plenty of evidence showing that ancient Celtics, Celtics of yesteryear, visited this location. Not just Native Americans, which are awesome, and also Celtics. Oh, yeah. Just look at it. Look at this guy, for example, and then look at this. And this right here, I'm thinking to myself, okay, this doesn't look like your traditional Native American petroglyph from this area. But what took it over the top, what took it over the top was when I started exploring this cave in here. And this cave is in Pitcher Canyon. And I don't know if you watched the podcast where I was out there. You should check it out because I was exploring this area, first-person view. And this cave I climbed up into, and I started talking about how, you know, this was probably somebody's studio with a beautiful view. And, you know, here's the, like, this area right here kind of shows where you could set up the, the bed. You climb up into there, and you've just got this really cool window view here and then I started looking at some of these lines like it looked like somebody had etched lines into the stone like see this area right here and I was like wow what are they doing are they sharpening their knives are they is this some type of language and somebody left a comment in the comment section about how that is actually very common that looks like a, a common form of language that is called, um, I, hold on a second, I took notes here. And you'll also, I want to show you this too. This is taken just south of there in Black Mesa, Oklahoma. And don't forget to check out GadgetsWithLeak.com. Always be prepared. Safety gadgets that fit your lifestyle. So I've got the Halo 2800 spotlight. That thing is insane. I've got the Halo floodlight, amazing. I've got the emergency LED light. It's one of my favorite lights in the world. I've got one of these safety flares, and I just ordered the tactical flashlight. As a Leak Project listener, you'll get a 50% discount. When you go camping or you're in an area where you need light, Halo, get your Halo today. These things are ridiculous, and the discounts for Leak Project listeners. Okay, now, this right here, Black Mesa, Oklahoma. This right here, Ogham pronounced Ogham, modern Irish Ogham, or old Irish Ogham, is an early medieval alphabet used to write the early Irish language in the Orthodox inscriptions from 1st to 6th centuries AD and later the old Irish language from 6th to 9th centuries. There's roughly 400 surviving Orthodox inscriptions on stone monuments throughout Ireland and Western Britain and also, also, America. Oh yeah. Columbus, step back, get back. Christopher Columbus isn't the alpha dog anymore. No, the Celtics were hanging out with the natives. And this is an inscription right here. Let me show you a little bit more. This is cool. Just look at it. Just look at that. And you can get into the details. It'll show you the lettering, etc. And then, to add to the coolness factor... This is from the Council for West Virginia Archaeology. And just a disclaimer. The Council for West Virginia Archaeology reproduces these original Ogham petroglyph articles for the record only. We give absolutely no credence on their conclusions. For articles discussing these claims, see the listing at the end of this page. Christian messages in Old Irish script deciphered from rock carvings in West Virginia. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And then you look at these carvings, and you look at the lettering, and actually, they were able to decipher entire storylines that are connected to what? The stars. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So, wow. Halo, look at that. Would you just look at that? Doosh, 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 doosh. Doosh. Okay. Now, this... Right here, I want to take a look at this. This looks like a very interesting 
petroglyph. This is my favorite. I'd like to get some samples on that. This is also right up there with it. I mean, you can see, somebody said, are those wings? No, it looks like he's got a shield behind him, and he's holding two spears. And then you can see here, let's go back to some of these markings. Bada bing, bada bang. I'm just saying. And then, check this out, Horse Creek. This is Horse Creek, and this is CWVA.org. I'll leave the link in the video description box. You can look at the data there, how inscriptions are deciphered. Then this is the Wyoming County Petroglyph Translated. This is the Wyoming County Petroglyph Translated. Gerald Ratliff. And then it goes on to break the lettering down, and wow. She gave birth to the son in a cave. The name of the cave was the cave of Bethlehem. His foster father gave him the name Jesus, the Christ, Alpha, and Omega, festive season of prayer. This is from, wow. So these are ancient Christian writings in this old Coptic language in America. Look at this. Boom. Halo. Get yours today. Gadgetsdelete.com. And... This is awesome. So that just goes to show. So let me go. Uh, let's go on the map here real quick. Bang. Right here. This is where it is. Imagine 2,000 years ago. Longer, maybe, you know, give or take a few hundred years. Or all the above. Traveling to Central America. The center of the United States of America. What it's considered now. The title that it has now. But traveling to the center, coming over from Ireland or England or Scotland, coming over literally via boat, I mean, and then traveling from the coast to almost the center. That's, you know, the three corners area. Then you've got the four corners area. Imagine the trade route that went on. So you, you zoom in here, even via car. So back in 2013, I thought it'd be fun for work because I had work in Colorado Springs. I thought it'd be fun to take my dual sport motorcycle in January and drive it to Colorado Springs. I thought that'd be fun. And it was fun driving out there. And driving back was ridiculous. I decided to drive back. And I'm like, I'm going to take the eastern part. You know, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see the, the grasslands. It's just flat grasslands. That go on and on and on and on. I had three sets of gloves on and my fingers were still freezing. It was stupid to do that. But hey, I'm glad I did because <laughs> what a life experience. So check it out. Then you zoom into this area. I'm just kind of giving you perspective. There's nothing out there. There's nothing out there. And then you go up to this area. So I, coming back from the funeral, I decided to take this route. But I didn't take it through Colorado Springs. I started up even further than that. So coming in through Fort Collins and then cut off Eastern area, then shoot down here. But if you zoom in, you'll see that this is also connected to a place in Oklahoma that most people have never been, the Black Mesa. This is kind of like the three corners area here. Pitcher Canyon is where I took the pictures that I just shared with you, this area right here, Pitcher Canyon. And then if you go down into this area, into the Black Mesa, I just shared with you some images Go back here again real quick. Where's it at? Got so many different... Boom. This is the Black Mesa in Oklahoma. And I'll leave the link for this in the video description box as well. So thank you for taking this picture and putting it on your website because this is more perspective of this Celtic language. And maybe there's some trading going on, you know? And then look at the comparisons here. And then this was decided... There was a, uh, a Christian monk early AD that deciphered this language and was able to you know, translate it. So awesome. Glad that that happened. Look at the comparisons here. I mean, it's just crazy. So Christopher Columbus, step back. Get off the horse. 
The Celtics were here before. Nanu, 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 Somebody left a comment. Rex, why do you gotta be so dorky, man? Why can't you take this stuff serious? I do take it serious. And I'm also having a little bit of fun. It's like, I know you're gonna probably read this and you're not gonna care. Well, I care just enough to say, nanu, nanu, nanu. No, I'm joking. I appreciate that. I'll work on it. It's a work in progress. But so, let's, let's put into effect here the satellite. Gotta love Google Maps. Look at this. I mean, there's nothing out there. There's some, some crops. Will you just look at it? The black mesa. Okay, so back to this image. This is the image that I took out there in Pitcher Canyon. And that part was really neat, being able to jump up there. Take a look at these images again. The Celtic warrior. That's probably a Celtic warrior. That's probably his horse that he rode in on. Hello! Oh my goodness. And the horse you rode in on. You've heard that saying, right? Oh yeah. And that thing is interesting. It's interesting. And here you go. Here's some more of them. Pitcher Canyon. In Pitcher Canyon. If you ever get the opportunity, you should definitely check it out out there. I mean, so let's think about this for a minute. It's still taught in schools, in the majority of schools, that Christopher Columbus discovered America. I mean, no wonder the majority of the population is compartmentalized and doesn't really care about anything outside of their nine to five lifestyle, outside of their box that they come home and watch because they like to stay in the box where it's comfortable, which is fine. It's also not something I choose to follow. I would rather be outside of the box and, and maybe hang out in there once in a while. But it's just Hello! Okay, so, that didn't come out right. But, I'm just saying, this is fascinating, is it not? So, wouldn't it be interesting if we could get a true timeline, a true history of what, hap what has happened the past several thousand years at least, and then be able to work on that data? It's like Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny is taught in school in every aspect of history. I shouldn't say every aspect, but many aspects of history. They're teaching you Santa Claus Easter Bunny stories. And they're not teaching you about the origins of Santa Claus or the Easter Bunny. Ishtar. Ishtar. And Nana. Halo! Awesome. Be excellent to each other. What do you think about this? And then I want to add a little bit more excitement to the mix here. Do you ever wonder if there's certain areas that you go to, whether it's a regular routine or out of the box, or you're going on vacation, or you're going on tour, or you're you know, taking a, a business trip, and you're going, and oftentimes you'll end up stopping at the same locations, and you know, whether it's to get fuel, whether it's to get you know, bottled water, whatever, and have you ever wondered if previous lives you've possibly done You've been in the same place. Like that was, you know, okay, 100 years ago, 1,000 years ago, 10,000 years ago, you were in that same area doing something similar or certain places on the map you might go to to, re to relive subconsciously a past life. The Anasazi people, incredible. Their civilization was, was thriving. It was fascinating. And you can see many relics today. And if you go to Chimney Rock, the ruins that are left out there close to the top and at the top of Chimney Rock, not Chimney Rock specifically, but you're going to an area that's a ledger where you're looking at Chimney Rock and you've got this just beautiful panoramic view. These artifacts, these relics were designed and put in place with specific ley lines energy lines and vortexes that connect with the stars, the heavens, etc., and the earth. And I think that maybe when I was out there, I don't know, I just had some awesome deja vu. And I, you know, like when I was in Chimney Rock, deja vu. And then I shared with you that footage that looked like I was picking up multiple dimensions at once. 
the only time I've had a glitch like that with the camera was there. It was working before I got there, after I got there, and then when you watch this footage, it looked like m literally multiple dimensions at once, and it was just a trip. And just thinking about it, it's making the hair stand up all over my body. It was just, wow. You need to go back and watch that. I'm going to go back and watch that. It was like something out of Young Guns, that part where they had that wonderful tea. And uh, anyway, so they were in the spirit world. Remember that? Be excellent to each other. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. Make sure to hit the subscribe, the like button. Make sure to support our sponsors by supporting our sponsors. You're supporting yourself and you're supporting Leak Project. So thank you.